Hey everybody! So I thought it would be super fun to just as a little bit of an eye candy thing show you guys all of my pouches. So these are going to be anything from washi tape pouches to pencil cases to laptop pouches and things like that. I'm going to not go in detail on each one but I will just kind of show you a little bit and a few of them I'm going to show you kind of what's inside. So let's get started. <laughs> So over the years, I have collected quite a lot of like pencil cases and pin pouches and things like that. So I'm just going to kind of show them to you, go over them. I do have a little thing of some different types of pins like these Tombow dual brush pins. And then I have a bunch of stuff packed away in here so that for some of them, I can give you an idea of how much actually fits inside one of these. I also just wanted to say that I am recording this on Easter morning. Um, we've done some festivities here at the house and now everybody is napping. My husband and my baby are napping and actually my son is upstairs playing video games. So I thought, okay, this will be a fun time, but I just wanted to say happy Easter. If you do celebrate Easter, happy Sunday to everyone. And I am wishing you happy holidays and a lovely safe time with your family at home. Okay, so let's get started. One of the bigger collections of pouches that I've gotten recently or over the past year or so is from Simply Gilded. So I subscribe to the Simply Gilded subscription box, which comes in every month and it always has like, I think maybe six or eight rolls of washi tape. Plus I get the additional one. Sometimes it comes with, it always comes with a pin and usually some kind of little pouch. So I've got all of those laid out and I'm just gonna show you those really quickly. Here's the Simply Gilded ones. So this one has a gold sort of half moon shape with a gold um, zipper and a gold inside. And this is very much like a champagne kind of color to it. I don't know how well that's coming across in video and a little tassel with these beautiful peacocks. This is one of the more recent ones. And I like that this one opens so big because you can fit a lot down inside of it with washi tape and so forth. But it's a little bit of a tight fit to fit something really big like the Tombow dual brush pins. And that's true for most of the Simply Gilded pouches. So we've got the Peacock one. We have this one that I believe was like a fall or um, winter one last year. So this has more of a rose gold zipper. And again, not so easy to fit the Tombow brush pins, but it's great for just regular size pins and it's really deep. You could also use this for a makeup pouch and that's true for a lot of these. So we've got this one, like a burgundy one. This one is just more of like a cotton, pretty plain one with a uh, Simply Gilded logo and a rose gold zipper. I actually still have a little pocket in here that I didn't use from that month. So this one to me is a little bit more narrow and it does fit pins in there, but it just it feels more narrow. So if you were looking for something that you could fit more like in a side pouch in your backpack. Some of these are nice, but I don't think you can buy these after you have to be subscribed. So this one is more of like an Alice in Wonderland kind of look to it. It's quilted and it has this beautiful bright pink interior with a gold zipper. And again, some of these I feel like from Simply Gilded, it's like I wish the zipper went all the way to the edge because it makes it a little bit more difficult to get the pins in and out. But if you were just going out and you wanted something really compact to throw maybe four or five pins and a couple washi tapes in, this is perfect. This one was one of the more fun ones that she did at some point last year, but it's honestly, it's not holding up really great. Like, I don't know how well you can see that, but it doesn't seem like it's going to last and it's kind of getting some scratches on it, but it's also just really fun. It's got this very like hollow um, plastic to it with a rose gold zipper or maybe even a coppery kind of zipper. And then it's got this fun shaker inside. So this is really fun. It's got butterflies and leaves and stars. And I just I love it. Like I said, the back doesn't seem like it's holding up in terms of the hollow super well. Like it looks a little bit like almost looks dirty or fingerprinty. And I don't know that I can clean that off, but I really don't mind it because this is the side that I'm looking at more often and it's just so cute with the shaker. So that is really pretty. That's one of my favorite ones she's done. Then this one is pretty much identical to some of the other ones that you saw in terms of the shape of it. But what I love about this one is this um, white, pink and white pinstripe design on the interior. So this one's very pretty. And this one is more of a 
not canvas, but it's like, uh, I don't know how to describe it. It's not cotton, but it's kind of like, like what a jacket would be made out of. I don't know what material that is, polyester, I don't know. This one again is just a, like a sewn kind of cottony one, or this one feels almost more like canvas or linen or something. And this has just a pretty purple interior with a silver zipper. So you can see a lot of the Simply Gilded ones are kind of the same exact pouch, just with different fabric, and those are nice. I love the bees on this. I did a um, Lucky Bee Money Boot Camp with Denise Duffield Thomas, if you've ever heard of her, a few, like many years ago, actually, like five, four or five years ago. And she always talks about Lucky Bees, so. I love anything that has bees on it. it. Always makes me think of that. Then we also have these types of pouches, which these two are the same. Then these are a little bit different, and this is like a bigger version of it. And this all came from Simply Gilded. So this is like a vegan leather type feel with a soft sort of felt interior, and it works more like a little pocket. And I think this would be really good for sticking some stickers down in there. And you can fit your pins, but again, this type of pin or marker is too big for this type of pouch, but I like it and it's it's not gonna hold a lot because it's not really big, but it's just pretty and it's easy to carry around. Plus it's flexible because of the type of material. And then it has this little D ring over here that you can put little bows on. And this came with the pack as well. Also, I have this one that's white and white on the inside with that rose gold button. And then it has this little bow from Simply Gilded. So those are both kind of the same. And then something she did that was a little different one month was this very large pouch, which this is really cool. And I think that you could even fit a full like A5 size page in here. So if you wanted to take like some of your planner pages or things like that with you, you could also fit, you know, sticker books like the me and my big ideas sticker books in here and i don't have any kind of bow on the d ring but it does also have a ring and then finally this was kind of a different pin pouch she did as well which is um, more narrow at the bottom so i don't think you could fit as much in it. it would be better for washi tape than for pins but this is you know a little bit different and i like the scalloped edges so the only other one that i have from simply gilded is this one that's not exactly a pin pouch it's more of like a sticker book but What's cool about it is like a hybrid. So you've got a little notebook in the back that I haven't used, but you could fit all your stickers and things in here. And then in the front here, you have a little shaker pouch with a bunch of stars and different things inside of it. And then you've got a pen pouch here. So if you really wanted to go out writing or something like that, you could fit a bunch of your pens inside the front and then your stickers and stuff in here. So this would be a good little um, planner pouch that you could take with you. And I really like that. This is probably, I wanna say one of my favorites and I have used it, but I recently took some of the stickers out, but I've never totally filled it up and taken it out with me. Um, and I haven't even used this notebook in the back yet. It's just been sitting here, but I think this would be really cool. And I think this was a neat thing. I hope she does more of these types of things. And it's just like a little, just a plastic feel to it. So those are all of the Simply Gilded ones that I have. Okay, so the next group of pouches that we're going to look at is going to be the Erin Condren ones that I have. So I have this one from years ago and you can see, I need to like see if I can take some, I don't know, some like alcohol or something and get some of these pin marks off of here. But this is like a vegan leather type feel with a gold zipper. And it says she designed a life she loved and this fits so much. This is kind of my like plotting one that I take with me. So I have all my note cards with all my plot in it. Then I have, a bunch of washi tapes and a ton of pins like this particular pouch from Erin Condren I don't even know if they still sell it but it just fits so many pins and what I love about this one in particular is that you can really fit these Tombow dual brush pins which I like to use in my plotting for color coding purposes they fit perfectly in here so you can really fit a lot because this is like six rolls of washi tape probably 20 plus markers and an entire set of uh, my plotting note cards, like index cards. I didn't really pack that up as well, but this is really great. And 
it's over unfortunately, but they just did a 60% off warehouse sale and they had one in black that's like this. And so I grabbed it, but I don't know if it's gonna be available on the site after this. So I've got this one that I use pretty much anytime I go out plotting. Then I have several of these, what they call plani packs. And actually, to be honest, I feel like I have another one somewhere that's purple, but I could be making that up. <laughs> I also was thinking I had a gold one. I have a bunch of these. Some of these were sent to me by Erin Condren, um, by Tori, who I love and adore at Erin Condren. And some of them were ones that I purchased or got as part of a like a bundle. So these are all basically the same. And what they are is they call them planning packs, kind of like a fanny pack for your planner. And it's got this elastic band on the back so that you can put it around your planner. And then this zipper part just fits all your pins and stuff. There's no pockets or anything like that. There's, oops, one of my lights went out, you guys, and it's not charged, so hopefully the lighting will be okay. Um, it doesn't have any pockets or anything, but it does fit, you know, pretty nice size markers in there. It's a little bit of a tight fit for the Tombow, but all of the Erin Condren markers and pins fit really nicely in here, I'll show you. So this is another pouch that I got. I think this one is for sale in a couple of different colors. I know it comes in navy blue as well. And this is also one that has the elastic band, so you could put it around your planner which is really nice and it's just sort of velvet and it's small but it fits quite a few pins in it and it's not going to fit really long markers but it does fit the Erin Condren dual brush markers and so you can see in this it fits a lot of them because I've already just put like eight in there and you've got a ton of space in them so that's one of the reasons I like this because when you set it like this against your planner it kind of you know evens out and doesn't get too bulky so I've got one in their kaleidoscope design one in this sort of teal design and then they recently sent me this one with their Wonder Woman collection and this is already packed up with a bunch of like mild liners and these are my favorite pens which are the Pilot Precise V5 RTs and it also has some of the Tombow dual brush pens but they're kind of squished in there so that you can see they don't fit like perfectly but you can fit so many pens in this and then you can put it on your planner and you could also put some washi tapes and different things in that so these little planning packs are nice as is this one if you want something just a little bit slimmer that fits just a few pins in it but I think you can fit eight pins in this which is kind of crazy for how small it is this one is an Erin Condren one from a summer surprise box I think two years ago and you can see I haven't even taken the side the tag off of it but I'm going to use this this summer I do like pin pouches that are clear sometimes because you can see exactly what's in them and it looks like you could really fit a lot so look how much you can fit that Tombow in there. Very nice. So I think I'm going to use this this summer as my plotting one and move all of those index cards and everything else into this one. Then one of my favorite, favorite things that Erin Condren came out with, I believe last year, is this accordion pack. So look at this. It's so bright and colorful and it does store nicely and there's actually stuff in these some of them when i go traveling i like to take a lot of my pens and markers and washi tapes and stuff with me but it's like taking five different pen pouches gets cumbersome so it's like wow i can fit it all in this one thing so it's one of my favorite favorite things so in here i've got my pencil lead some well-kept wipes um, i even have some little crystals in here as well as a chapstick and usually if I would be going out, I would have this completely packed, but I have a little bit of cash so I don't forget it. I've got stickers in this one. And of course that just looks flat. Then here I've got um, some adhesive, some stencils, some post-it notes. Like you wouldn't believe so many things fit in this. This is usually one that's full of pins and markers. And you can see that the Tombow Do brush pens do fit in there as well as the Erin Condren markers. I'm not sure if I have anything else in here because I think I usually would put the pins in these last three. There's a little bit more stickers in here. So really it's amazing because even when you fill this with pins, it doesn't get too bulky to put like in your bag. So if you travel a lot with your planner supplies, I highly recommend this because you can section them off. It's also colorful, it's very durable. You can just wipe it off. I love it. So if this video doesn't get too long, at the end, I'll also show you my Erin Condren planner pouches. But for now, I'm just going to keep going because I know this is going to be a ridiculously long video.
Okay, so next up I have a couple of more like designer ones that I use occasionally. So this is a Kate Spade one that I got from Papyrus, which sadly is closing. I think they might already be out of business, but I like this one because it does open all the way on the side. So instead of just opening at the top, it does open all the way down one side. So if you had bigger markers in it, which look how nicely that does fit the Tombow dual brush bin, then you can get them out a little easier because you have access to this side. So I do really like this one. Plus I'm always a sucker for black and white with gold. I wish that it was a gold zipper though, to be honest. <laughs> Then this is another Kate Spade one that I have that has a bunch of bookshelves and stuff on it. So I love that. And it's got the Kate Spade spade on it. And then it came with some of these little things. So you've got a pencil sharpener and then an eraser that says to air is human. So I just left those in there since it goes with it and has this pretty black and white interior. I feel like I also, you guys have one more Kate Spade one somewhere and I went looking for it and I couldn't find it, but I don't know. These are things like not stuff that I've just gotten this year. This is probably five years old or more. So, you know, some of these I've been collecting for quite a while. Then I also have, this one is a Kiki K one. And if you've been following my channel, you know that I have a thing for dragonflies. I have an affinity for dragonflies. So when they came out with this Life is Wonderful design that has all of the like woodland stuff and then the dragonflies, I had to have it. I wasn't able to get an A5 rings planner with it. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to look for one that somebody's selling used someday, but I don't have it. But I was able to get this pencil pouch, which again is a similar type design to that other one that you can put stuff in but it opens on the side it doesn't fit these great but it will fit a few of them um, and this actually is just not a super beefy pen pouch you can only fit a little bit but it does fit enough and it's leather so it's really nice and I do have a couple other things in this design like a notebook holder but I just didn't get the planner but I do love this pen pouch and I love the fact that it has the red with the pink it just is really pretty okay so you had to know this was coming if you know me at all, <laughs> which is the Hello Kitty pen pouch collection. I do have a lot. And again, these are ones that I have been collecting or using for a very, very long time. Like this one probably needs to be washed because it has pen marks. And I mean, it's prob this is probably eight or nine years old. So some of these are, you know, they're old. They've been around the block. I've used them a lot. This one actually has a little Mickey Mouse on it from when we went to Disney, but it has mostly Hello Kitty. It has like a little satiny interior. And this is a nice big pouch that you could fit a ton of pins in. So like that gives you an idea of just five pins in there, but you could probably fit a good 30 or more plus pins in this pouch. So that's one of the reasons it's well used, but it does need to be washed at this point. <laughs> A lot of the Hello Kitty pouches that I have, I got either online at Sanrio.com or at a Sanrio Surprises store in Raleigh when I, where I used to live, which has since closed down. This um, Sanrio Toki Doki collection, I have a big bag in this one, but I love this one, but I'll tell you this zipper keeps getting messed up, so I'm scared to even zip it up. But I love this because it's got the Hello Kitty with the little cherry and the Toki Doki star. I just absolutely love this design with her in the little cactus suit, but the zipper keeps messing up, so I'm scared to even use it. Plus, you can't really fit a lot in this one. You can fit slim pins, and you can only fit a few, and they're hard to get out. So I only would fit maybe four or five pins in this one if I was taking it out. So sadly, it's kind of retired unless I can get the zipper repaired, but I do actually have a really big like overnight bag that has this design on it. So. Oh well, sometimes zippers just don't hold up, but it's cute, right? So more Sanrio Tokidoki or Hello Kitty Tokidoki. This is one of their circus designs. And I think this is actually more like a, like it has the chain and I think maybe this is supposed to be more like a wallet, but I use it usually for a pen pouch and you can fit, you know, some decent pens, but the markers don't fit as well, but it is really, really um, slim. So maybe work better as a wallet, but I usually use it to hold stickers. Another one in the circus design, this is the same design and the same sort of, I don't know what you call this type of material, but it's like a, 
If you have any of the Erin Condren planner um, folios, it's the same material as that, but I can't, I can't tell you what that is. But if you look at this one, this is probably more like a toiletries bag, but pretty much every pouch that I buy ends up being a pin pouch for me. <laughs> but you could fit a ton, like you could probably fit 100 pins in here along with some stickers and some washi tapes and stuff like that. It does fit the Tombow dual brush pins as well. So if you wanted longer markers, you could definitely fit those in there. So another circus design one. And of course you could fit your makeup or toiletries in there too. So this little pouch here that's like hollow with the Hello Kitty Mermaid came from the um, came from the Sanrio Loot Crate, which I think now is called the Hello Kitty and Friends Loot Crate. And I haven't ever used this, but I think again, it's meant probably more for like toiletries. It came with a bunch of stuff for the beach. So probably like for a beach trip or something like that. But because it's clear and it's got this hollow, you could also use it as a pin pouch. I haven't personally ever used it, but I need to think of what I can put in here so I can use it at least once. This is another one of those similar type of pouches. This also came from a San Le Sanrio loot crate with this little enamel chain and a little leatherette zipper pull. And if you extend it, you can definitely fit quite a bit inside this one. You could fit the markers in there, but not great. But when it comes to just regular sized pins, you could fit a ton in here. Plus it has a little zipper pouch that goes all the way to the bottom. So you could put washi tape and sticky notes and you know adhesive roller and stuff in there. So I use this one quite a bit and I love it. This one is again, probably meant to be more of like a little wallet. So you could definitely couldn't fit any pins in here, but I have used this before to stuck, stick a few little t rolls of washi tape in because it's so slender and it's Hello Kitty lounge fly and it's a pizza slice. So it's like, you know, sometimes you just got to carry this. I have also used it for just to put sticking my credit cards in there, but I've used it for washi tapes too. How cute is that? A few of these are just kind of bigger types of pouches. So this is one that is a, like a file folder type, just plastic. And I was using this for a while for different receipts. I haven't used it you know, lately, but different receipts will fit in that and more so than pens. This one also has that same kind of like Ziploc kind of top to it, but I have used this for a ton of pins. So you can actually kind of accordion that bottom out and you can fit a ton of pins and markers in here, as well as you could fit huge sticker sheets or even sticker books in this one. So I've used this one a lot as well. And this, these two I got from a shop that was closing down on Etsy. So I got these really cheap. They were like 75 cents, I think. This one has kind of a mesh background, but they're just plastic and they have a zipper pouch. So, you know, if I'm going out, I could put like a wet bathing suit in here if I wanted to, but I could also put, you know, my, a bunch of my stickers, sticker books, a ton of markers in here. It's just kind of an all purpose sort of thing. This will actually also fit entire sheets of paper. So just eight and a half by 11 letter size paper will fit into these pouches. So that one's plastic. This one is more like, um, I don't know you guys, I'm terrible with types of things, but this one, you can kind of hear the difference to it. It's more like a fabric but look how cute with all the bows. This one I also got from that same shop going out of business and it's just a little Hello Kitty Sailor. And this is more like those sand, um, those Simply Gilded ones that's just really thin and it doesn't really hold pins super well because I feel like you have to really dig down in there to get them. So I use this more for washi tape. Then um, one of the final, I only have two left of the Hello Kitty ones. This is, actually a copy of the original Hello Kitty design. So when Hello Kitty came out in like 1976, this was the original design. It wasn't this exact pouch because I think it was clear. 
um, if I'm not, I don't know, I can't remember exactly, but it had, I wasn't born yet, so <laughs> I didn't actually have one, but they redid this for one of the anniversaries. So she's got a little milk, a little fish, and then it's Hello Kitty that says hello. And th so this was like the original Hello Kitty design. And I think it came out in a coin purse similar to this, just not this exact one. This is kind of like a remake. And I always feel like I never know how to open these, right? Um, but then it's got more little Hello Kitties on the fabric inside. And again, this is not really something that you would put pins in, but you could put other stationery like your washi tapes or other like a little little pins or some adhesive roller or white out or whatever um, I haven't used this too much because I don't want to get it dirty but I do love this because of the fact that it was the original design then this is probably my favorite Hello Kitty pouch of all time. This is the Tokidoki Hello Kitty pouch um, that I use the most, and it has two different zipper pulls. It has one that's like a diamond Hello Kitty head, and then it has the Tokidoki skull and crossbones with the heart. Then I also have a Gudetama on here just because I needed to put it on there. It even has stuff still in it because I've used it so much. It's like so many things. Um, I've got Barnes and Noble coupons and stickers and all kinds of stuff, but this one has has two pouches it has a uh, like a elastic pouch over here so you can see some of the remnants of the things I was keeping in it for a while you've just got like stickers a hard thing for tearing things um, so I would you can fill this full then you can fill this side full and then you still have all of this in the middle and it holds markers it holds pins it holds pretty much anything you need and because it opens all the way down the sides it's really easy to get your markers out but you can also leave it partially zipped and easily just reach in so this for years when I would go on writing retreats with friends this was the pin pouch that I took with me because I could fit so much into one small pouch plus it's just the cutest design and this is leather also so that's all the Hello Kitty ones I just have some others here that are just sort of random they don't really go together this is one that I got in a kawaii box and I used the heck out of it because I was able to put like a bunch of stuff in it back in the day oops I left my sample pins in this other one <laughs> um, because it fits the longer markers so this is a really simple pencil case but it does fit the longer markers so if I wanted to take the longer markers and just have a really small little pin pouch this is the one I would take but you can see it hasn't held up well it's really gotten dirty I think this is coffee that I spilled on it so I might try washing it or I don't know I need to figure out if oxy clean or something would get that clean but I loved it with these little like llamas and just the fact that it's so long which for a small pin pouch is unusual so I used this one a lot then also this is one that I absolutely love I got this one also from papyrus I believe during Halloween time a couple of years ago and it has two little side pouches here which is so great because you can fit like well I've got coins in this one but you could fit like adhesive roller you could fit white out in here you could fit um, a couple of like one washi tape in each side whatever you want to do plus it's like the little kitty design and this is sort of a like velour type feel then you open it up and the zipper comes all the way out and it's got this adorable little black cat design on the inside there's no um, pockets or anything on the inside but it does fit quite a lot now I didn't you can't put these type of longer markers in there but you can fit quite a lot of regular pins down in the bottom and there's room left over for washi tape and other little types of things that you want to take with you and if you want to of course you can tuck this down inside so that it's not sticking up like that but this is really cute and it looks cute in Instagram photos and stuff like that. And to be honest, I don't just use it at Halloween. I use it all the time. <laughs> so I love this one and it feels nice in your hand. This Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. I really enjoyed this book. It's, an, it's from Out of Print, which is a store online that I also get a lot of t-shirts from. But I got this in an owl crate and it also is a nice big one. This like reminds me of one of those uh, canvas bags that you put money in sometimes. Um, but you can fit quite a bit in it including the big markers so if you wanted to fit maybe like take an entire set of Tombow markers this size pouch is really good for that plus it's you know it's a book that I really liked so that's always fun to take around with you 
This one is one I got from Bath and Body Works that is more for like body, you know, toiletry type stuff, but I've used it for pen pouch before. I've also used this a lot for carrying washi tape because remember how I told you that I like the bees. So I thought this was really cute. And so I've carried washi tape in this one before. I cannot, for the life of me, remember where I got this one. It says Summer State of Mind and Sunny Life. And I love the colors in this. I don't always love orange, to be honest, but the orange with this like magenta purple and the pelican or whatever that is, is I just love it. Or parrot, what is that? A parrot? <laughs> Um, and you can fit so much and I love the clear pouches for when you've got a lot of supplies that you're taking with you, like sticker books and other things, because you don't have to like what is down in there. You can just look and see what's in it. So this is really good for travel. And of course it's this plastic design. So you could put all kinds of stuff in it, not just stationary, but I do use it for stationary. This one is just a pouch that has the, um, disc punches on it. This is a happy planner one. Um, and I will usually put pins and washi tape inside of it and put it inside my plotting planner or other planner for when I'm going out with anything that's disc bound. This little pouch is not one that fits any pins, but it's for like your electronics and stuff like that. So you could fit cords. You could also fit um, like little scissors. Okay, moving on. So I have two of these types of ones. These, This one came from Disney World. This one came from Michael's. So let me show you the Disney World one first because it's still packed <laughs> with most of the Disney stuff. Um, so it came with a couple of pencils and I can't remember what was here and a little notebook pouch here as well as a little like ruler and I think there was another ruler here an eraser and a sharpener. So it's got several little different zipper type pouches and I'll show you this other one in just a second. So this one came with markers and this one came with a bunch of pencils that are not sharpened and i was like come on disney like you're gonna give us to uh, these colored pencils but they're not sharpened now they do give you a sharpener but if you really wanted your kids to be able to play with it at the hotel ugh, that would be annoying it's too bad they didn't come sharpened but i left most of what's in here and maybe i'll give this to evie when she's older but when we were at disney world several years back it was like what do i want to get we had gift card money left over and it was like what should i grab so i grabbed this and it's just really cute but i haven't used it for much so this might end up being present to my daughter but it's very cute and my son has one that's like jake and the neverland pirates i think this one has the same three pouches it's not loaded up with anything right now but it's got all of these little places to put pins or markers. My biggest complaint about this is that if the markers or if the pins are all full, it gets too tight. It's like they didn't give you quite enough room. I would have rather had room for one less pin and be able to fit them all in there, which is one of the reasons I don't use it as much as I thought I would. But it's basically just three of those sections with that space. So you could fit, like, like they did in the mini one, you could fit your colored pencils, another set of like brush pins or whatever. But if you have anything thick, you're not gonna be able to fit enough. So when I, back when I was using it, even though you can fit the length of the marker, I would just use every other one of these elastics because you can't, you just, there isn't enough room to fit them all. But if you had thin or skinny pins, like maybe with these pins, you could fit them all. But I still think you're gonna end up with one somewhere in the middle that doesn't have a pin in it because there just isn't enough space for all the pins. But overall, it's a good idea and you could fit a lot of stuff in this. And this was something, like I said, I got at Michael's, but I'm not sure if they still have them. Since I've got this one here, I will go ahead and show you. This is uh, Teresa Collins Happy Planner collaboration. This was from their Be Happy box that was the collab with Teresa Collins. And to be honest, I this was not my favorite item in the bag because this looks manly to me in a lot of ways. And I like things that are more girly. And this just reminds me of like my husband's thing that he keeps his toiletries in. But it does fit a lot of washi tape in here at the bottom. So I keep this up by my meditation cabinet and I put a lot of washi tape in it. And I like the saying, make your dreams happen. So that is happy planner one. All right, we are getting there. So here's a few more of my favorite ones that I've actually used a lot. Um, so this one is a bandeau. Again, we've got that clear 
um, bottom to it and a gold zipper. You can fit as big of markers as you want. This is another one I travel with sometimes because it fits so many markers, but I've been keeping a lot of stickers in it. So these, even these big Erin Condren sticker sheets will fit in this one. So I've liked it for keeping stickers. Um, upstairs in my planning section upstairs because my most of my stickers stay in my office but sometimes I want to plan in bed so I have those here um, for that purpose this is a Deld pouch that I got from Jet Pins and I just put this little unicorn on it and this one is kind of unique and cool because let's say you've got all your little pins inside I don't know if it fits the Tombos it doesn't it's not tall enough but you've got a ton of little pins there's also little pouches but what you can do is once you have it unzipped you pull down on the sides and it becomes like a little pencil cup so if you're out writing at a cafe or something instead of having to dig inside you can use something like this and then it's it does have some little pockets so you could put some other little things down in there like you could put some extra lead for your pencils or an eraser or a ruler and things like that and you could actually fit quite a lot of pins in here, but instead of having to dig in and find them, they're all just right here and you say, oh, there's the orange one and so on. So it becomes, it's like a dual pencil cup slash whatever that comes in, I think like pink and purple and this teal color. And then it also comes in a few other designs that are more like leathery looking. And then you just pull it back up when you're ready to go and it becomes your pen case. So this is pretty cool. I think the biggest disappointment about this particular one is that this top sort of canvas or cloth that you have got dirty really really fast in my bag because it was never white it was always off-white but it just got really dirty so I might look again at jet pins and see if they have one that doesn't have like a light material at the top because it made me not want to use it anymore because it just got so dirty and I'm I mean my stuff isn't that dirty <laughs> I don't know why it got so dirty but it just really did but it's a neat concept and I like the I like the concept of it this is one that I used a lot but I haven't used lately so this one is from home cube I got this one from Amazon and it's got a zipper to actually it has a double zipper I think this one comes in multiple colors that you can choose from so this is what it looks like when it's zipped up and then when you open it Obviously it's not packed up right now because I haven't been using it, but it's got a lot of little functional spaces. So you've got a pocket here, you've got a mesh pocket in the back that just is a half, like a half pocket. Then you've got a place here to put a few pins that you want easy access to, but then it's got basically what I would call a trough. <laughs> and it does have this little thing here. So you could put like a few little post-it notes or something here and keep it separated off from the actual pins. And I keep putting, leaving my sample pins <laughs> inside pencil cases. This is like the downside to having so many different pencil cases is you lose stuff inside of them and then you're like, oh my gosh, what happened to those pins? And they're just like sitting inside a pencil case somewhere. So you can see that the pins themselves take up this much space and then you could fit other little things like sticky notes and adhesive runner or whatever else you wanted to take with you in this little section over here. You could also, if you wanted to put that part down, fit the longer markers in here if you wanted to as well. I used this home cube one religiously for about a year, but then I kind of burned out on it and tried, tried something different. So that's this one. I will link to as many of these as I can down below, but it might take too much time to find all the links. So if you don't see a link down below, comment and say, hey, where did you get that one? And I'll try to find you a link. So this one is another home cube and it has multiple pouches to it or sections. So the front has two pouches, um, little pockets. Then you open up this top part. This is another one that I saw in, oops, still got a sticker in it. I saw this in a once in my pencil case video and thought, oh, that's perfect for me. But then I could never really get it packed up exactly the way I wanted. So I didn't use this one as much as I thought similar design to the other one, but just bigger. So it's got this two half pockets, one's mesh, one's not. Then it has another pocket with a little pin thing here. So you could definitely like have your little pin clips like that if you wanted to. You could also, I believe, fit longer markers in here as well. Nope, nope, that's not gonna fit. So more like pin clip type things. Then in this 
next part of this first section, you have three more mesh pockets over here. Some of them are elastic. One is a zip pouch, and then you have a bigger mesh pouch over here. So you could fit the bigger markers in this mesh pouch, but not in this section over here. It's too short. So you could put a bunch of the bigger markers. You could put other little accessories here. Some of your favorite pin clip type pins like these and then other you know washi tape in this one or whatever so there's a lot of space in this one and you do have a lot of room so I'll show you when it's zipped up you've got a ton of space there to really put a lot of markers in and that mesh pocket holds them in there then you do have one more section and this is the part that I was like what do I do with this section I don't even know what people do with it but this comes down like this. So it's like, there's gotta be a purpose for that. I don't really know what it is. <laughs> I couldn't, I just couldn't figure it out. So I need to maybe find some more examples of how people build this up because I just can't imagine why it comes down like that. Maybe I'm just not creative enough to think through it, but it does have a second little pouch here. And I think that's why I didn't use this one much. I love the color of it, but it's just like, how do I pack that second section? So here's one from Home Cube that's really not as loved as it should have been. But speaking of ones that I used religiously, this one from Moving Option, um, this is one that I used the mess out of and there's probably stuff still packed in it so this is one that i got from jet pins it has this really big zipper section here that you can fit so many pins in like i bet 40 pins will fit in here including the big markers like so much you do have a little mesh pocket here that you could put like back when people used thumb drives this was probably the perfect place for a thumb drive or an eraser or a little um, clips like this but you can fit a lot in this first section and then it just has a zipper. So I put another little unicorner on there and the zipper does have a little um, button here so that you can make it a little bit more compact if you wanted to. You can see how well used this was. Then you also have this outer pocket that's a zipper pocket and yep, there is still some stuff in here. So um, <laughs> look at this <laughs> the hidden treasure. My son wearing my boots when he was probably only like two or three. That's so cute. Then I've got some uh, tabs and a little pencil sharpener, but you could fit lots in here like little washi tapes or whatever else. Then it also has more stuff. So it has this little velcro section where you've got another little set of mesh pockets and this is one of the reasons i loved this one so much because it allows you to partition things so you've got that big pouch you've got this little zipper pouch and then you also have this section so i've got page flags in here i know that i kept like a little mini scissor and i'll show you one in just a minute that's packed up so there's just a lot of space to put things in this particular one and it's pink and it's cute and i just loved it so this was from jet pins so one of my favorite pencil cases of all time. Okay guys, we are down to the final two and these are actually mostly packed up. This is my brand new one and this is one that I've been using probably the most over the last year. So this one is from Smart Fit, I think is what it's called. I mean, that's what it's got here, so that must be what it is. This one is another one I got, I think from Amazon. I did put some little um like tell i don't know little baubles on the zippers just because they're cute like that it does come i think in multiple colors but i liked the teal one and this has two sections to it so let me show you i can do a more in-depth like what's in my pencil case video if you guys would like to see it comment below hit the thumbs up let me know but i have like ruler some chapstick some of my favorite markers some little page flags some of my business cards just that, all that kind of stuff, but it's got a, a little section here, then it has two mesh pockets. So that's what I was talking about, like the mini scissors and page flags, some little erasers, like you can fit all that stuff in these types of mesh pouches. So I've got that in this first one. Then this second one opens all the way up like a book. So you can see 
you can fit all your pins and stuff in here. So you've got a section for accessories and then you've got this section that I like the way that this just opens all the way up and will lay flat because if you're sitting there and you're working at a cafe or like Panera or whatever, you've just got this nice thing that you can open up. And look at these cool buttons from Hello Kitty. These are actually like antiques that my sister-in-law gave to me for Christmas this past year. And I was like, you've got to be kidding me. But these were her daughters 20 years ago. So very exciting. Oh, I think I hear the baby, so I need to hurry up. But I can do a more in-depth look at what's in this pencil case if you guys are interested. But I've got some of my favorite pens. I've got some tarot cards. I've got lots of little things and buttons and bits and bobs. But I love this case. It's one of my favorites. I will definitely find a link for you guys. Um, down below. It's also because it's slim, it fits nicely into my bookcase or book bag without taking up too much room. And this is the most recent one that I've just purchased. It has a little handle on the side that will make it easy to like pull out of your bag. And it's also pretty slim and triangular. So I think you could fit it into like crevices of your bag. But what I thought was interesting about this one is you have two ways to get into it. So first of all, you have this top way that you can use these little pouches in the back for different things and you can reach all the pins but you have another option to get into that same section which is this other zipper that opens up like this and how cool is that so basically you have a little section with a mesh pocket here and your favorite pins you could also fit something down into the mesh like another roll of washi or something like that and then you have access to all those same pins that you could see from the top but it's just another way to access them so you can see kind of down into the bottom so if you were like i have this loaded with all my tombow twin tone dual brush um, not brush pens but dual twin tone markers and i've got the entire full set in here and i don't know how many that is but it's at least 30 markers and so if you were looking for specific colors it might be harder to find them if you were coming from the top but when you can see the bottom you can kind of be like oh yeah there's the yellow one you know whatever and you can reach it better that way plus this part's hanging open so you can have easy access to your pins so sadly i've not actually had a chance to go out and use this one because we're on lockdown and i had just gotten this in and started to pack it up when we got you know locked in but this says angu so i guess that's the name of the brand angu but i got this from amazon it was really inexpensive like maybe ten dollars or less and it comes in lots of colors and i love this purple so very cute little pen case that you can fit a lot of stuff in so I will link you guys to some of my favorite ones that you can still get access to. Obviously that Hello Kitty, the Hello Kitty pouches and some of those others are see like they were just available and now they're no longer available because that's the way those kinds of things work. But these sorts of pouches are sort of evergreen available. So that's it, you guys. I'm not gonna have time to go over all my planner pouches with you. So if you're interested in seeing more videos like this because they just bring you a little bit of joy and it's fun to kind of look through stuff, then please let me know down below I know this was a longer video, but hopefully it was a little bit of eye candy for you on this beautiful Sunday. I hope that you are safe and well with your family. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more like it, hit the thumbs up button, please subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Guys, we are almost to 30K subscribers as I'm recording this. So let's get that number up to 30K and let's start thinking about what we wanna to do to celebrate. Maybe I could do some pen, like a packed up pen pouch giveaway for writers, that would be kind of cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. And if you wanna see a more in-depth video on what's in my pencil case, let me know down, down below in the comments. All right, guys, love to you and we'll talk soon. Bye.